on the front, we have our power button, eject button, pairing button, and a USB, I believe 3.1s. I think the whole thing is 3.1, so don't have to worry about no slow USBs. And disc, yes. Believe it or not, this is a bonus feature right now. It's in the high-end units of our next-gen consoles. We have the Xbox logo here. For whatever reason. Is it on both sides? No, it is not. It's just, so I guess if you want to hold it in a, like, you know, like in a kitty corner way, you can see Xbox on both sides. And on the back, we have more ventilation, a lock, so I guess, you know, like, for demos and for busy areas and stuff. A power supply, HDMI out, storage expansion, which is, you have to pay, I think it's 200 and some dollars for an extra terabyte of super fast SSD storage. So you can load on more. I will probably end up getting that sooner or later. And two more USB ports, all um, 3.1s, and Ethernet cord. What gets me, is that we can no longer use this as the only one entertainment system. So you can't put an HDMI in like you can in the last series, um, the last Xboxes. That is sad because I actually did like that feature. I liked having, you know, the cable or something going through that HDMI that it need to be like a high-end game system. This way is one less HDMI port on there and I could just swap back and forth between without reaching for the controller. I will miss that feature. What do we have here? Little thing, okay. Talking about putting the batteries in our controller, pairing it with our Xbox, and what the ports all are, along with getting that app. Cool. Wait, do I have to have the app? Oh wow, hmm, pretty much. We don't have to, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get the app. And make that easier setup. Let's put this back in here. Let's go ahead and open this up. Here's all our other stuff. Controller. I can get out. Is there anything else in there? Or is that just like wasted space? That looks like kind of wasted space. We'll get to that in a second. Controller. Ooh, again, with that black. Nice, and it came with the batteries, so that's cool. The main difference between this and every other Xbox controller that you've been using for the last seven years is one, this map, this feel right here, this map finish is great. USB Type-C for not only faster charging, but also we are moved on to USB Type-C. Better, faster connecting for Bluetooth is what I heard, and an instant share button, because this console is so powerful, so fast, it can run games and do the whole sharing experience, whether you're taking snapshots, live stream, all that stuff, it does it in flow, which is very, very nice. High powered, ultra high speed HDMI. And it's getting ready to kick out that 8K, I can tell. Look at that, look, it's nice. And some paperwork. I'm curious, is there anything else in here? No? I think that's it. I don't think they'll make it that hard to get in there. So yeah, a little bit of wasted box space, but hey, it's there. What is this for? This is for something, I think it's for the controller. So I'm gonna put the instructions. We don't need instructions. Um, Phone part for the controller. Yep, that was for that. And all this closes right back in here. Actually, you know what? It's a very big unit. <laughs> yeah, the box is big. Realistically, this looks like it'd be very, very nice to, you know, store everything back in. I'm gonna put the controller back in here. So I'm gonna go back in here. Let's see. That way. Pretty sure this fun part went back in there, I just don't know. Oh, wait. Yeah, I figured that part out later. But the fun part does go back in there somehow. Put the cords back in. Close that up. Then I can put this beefy, powerful super unit. Boom, look at that. It has 
these hard cushioning parts. I like that. And then I could just close it back up. And now I can go ahead and take it over to my buddy's house. Say, uh, get ready to experience some high power gaming right here. A couple other features to note. This thing does have quick resume, which is amazing. Basically what it does is that it's basically have the game semi running in the background that you last played. So let's say for example, I'm playing Froza, right? For Froza Horizon. And I'm racing and stuff. I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and get back into my basketball game. Then I can easily hit the home menu button, click on like, let's say for example, NBA 2K. And within a matter of seconds, it instantly loads back up 2K21 and I'm back in where I was at, where I paused it at. I don't have to load in a new game. I have to just, it's, it keeps multiple games loaded in the background to easily, flat, fastly switch it out. This is amazing. This is amazing. I can't wait to plug it up. In fact, I think it's time we end this video right here so I can go ahead and plug this sucker up and get it all ready. Awesome 4K gaming at 120 FPS. Cannot wait. This is Jay, also known as Wolf the Kitchen, signing off.